Guys, uh, today I have an old uh, 1994 Toyota Camry. We have a crank no start. He's gonna help me assist uh, real quick and I didn't even tell him what's going on here. So go ahead and uh, start to crank. Try to crank it in. Alright, try again. Okay, good. Alright, so we have a crank no start. So first thing what you can do, Nick, you can look at the uh, tachometer here, okay? The crank engine again, and keep cranking, and look at the gauge, keep the gauge. Yeah. See the gauge moving? That's good. Okay, that's a sign that we have actually the signal from the crankshaft position sensor, okay? Alright, so uh, uh, the next we're gonna take a, we're gonna add some fuel to the intake real quick. We're gonna pull uh, one of these hoses, uh, spray a little bit of brake cleaner into the intake and uh, see if we have a fuel problem or not. This off. All right. Just gonna put it to the side. I'm gonna take a take a brake cleaner and spray it in, inside a little bit. All right. So let's see if the engine's gonna attempt to start. Okay. Try again, Nick. Crank it again. Oh, easy now. Okay, you can see engine is running with a fuel that we added into the intake, which means we have a fuel problem. Let's just uh, do a uh, crank. So, so now we know that Nick is we have a fuel uh, problem. So, listen, this is the key now. Okay, so as you're cranking the engine over, we're gonna hit the fuel tank to wake up the fuel pump. All right. Hold on a second. So I'm going to hit the tank at the time when you're cranking, okay? So I'm going to locate the tank here. Okay, keep cranking now. Crank it. And the car is running. Magic, isn't it? All right. Now we'll have to get to the fuel pump, which is uh, uh, behind the... Uh, uh, rear seat, under the rear seat actually. Alright, okay, I got the rear seat removed, just simply there's these latches here or clamps, you just kind of pull the seat up and uh, remove it. And I got the cover off of it and now we have a, uh, there's one connector here, it's actually pretty easy to get to. And uh, we have five wires on uh, this connector, sometimes you can four, we can have four or five wires. Two uh, thick wires are a uh, you know power and ground to our fuel pump, and because they got more current, other three wires are for uh, potentiometer for the um, uh, fuel level pos uh, position sensor, fuel level sensor, and uh, so now we're going to take a current clamp, uh, put it one of these around one of these wires, and uh, we're going to see the uh, waveform on the fuel pump, which then it's not needed, but you know we'll do it anyway. Something else that now, unfortunately, I don't have a complete module I have to mess with this stupid thing and uh, now if you do this be careful because uh, there's gonna be a negative and positive side of course on your pump if you reverse the polarity on a pump pumps gonna run but it's gonna run the, in the opposite direction and it's not gonna pump the fuel out of the fuel pump it's gonna pump the fuel back into the fuel tank so I'm gonna get the M clamp you're gonna look at the current and then I have to identify which wire is power which one wire is ground and then I will remove the uh, module. And here we go, I got my lab scope hooked up, I got my uh, M clamp uh, around one of these wires. Yes, this one is white and blue, and uh, this is a classic example of a bad fuel pump, but the one commutator is completely open, see it's uh, dropping down to zero. Now, luckily, car actually starts and run. Uh, it just depends where, this where the pump stops. And um, is it, you know, does it, it will restart or not? By uh, shocking the pump with a rubber mallet, by hitting the fuel tank, is gonna kind of vibrate the pump a little bit, and then it will, it will start start running. Now, if this happens to you, if you, if this can get you home, don't don't stop the car, just keep running, and uh, you know, it, it, you know, it, the pump will run, it'll get you home, but uh, you never know if it's gonna start next time. And this is a, uh, this can drive you crazy as well. Of course, it can be a intermittent no start, like is actually case in this car right now. It, I just started like three times and it was fine. And uh, so next step we need to identify which wire is power, which wire is ground. And uh, we will uh, take just a test light. I'm gonna 
hooked to the ground and I'm just going to back probe one of these wires and see on what wire my uh, Tesla is going to light, light up and if it does uh, that's going to be my powers that's going to be my power feed and the other wire is going to be ground and see this white and blue you know you don't have to have a diagram to do this okay nothing here let's go to this one and there we go so uh, my uh, blue wire is a uh, power feed and white and black wire is my ground and uh, now we'll have to uh, yeah so it should not change the and something else you have to make sure it is going to change the color you know this is is it going to go all the way and it is so uh, once I remove the module um, you know we'll have to you know you know we'll know which wire is which and uh, let's put the amp clamp back again and uh, we can uh, we can see we're actually pulling seven amps which is enough for pump to run so we do not have a problem with a power feed and um, so seven and a half amps that's fine and uh, so anyhow we will put a new pump and uh, that should work well this has already been replaced before China and uh, hopefully this connector is going to fit to my pump and all I need to do actually to uh, you know disconnect the hose and uh, slide a new pump in it should be okay but uh, there's a positive there's a negative I have to make sure and uh, if my connector doesn't fit, but it should fit okay. So, well, I guess sometimes aftermarket fits better than original. <laughs> so this was already been replaced before. Connector is the same. I just plug and play. All right. I uh, will also replace uh, replace the, uh, the fuel filter. Make sure that's uh, that's taken care of, and let's put it back together and uh, see how it runs. Current waveform from the new pump goes from uh, eight to uh, seven amps. Everything's okay. No more those dropouts that we had before. This one is okay. I'm not sure how long it's gonna last. This Chinese special one, but it looks beautiful. I will replace the fuel filter, and uh, this one will be good to go. All right. See you guys. Thank you. Bye bye.